an immediate hypersensitivity. You can break out with hives right after having contact with a, something that you're allergic to, even in minutes. Poison ivy causes a delayed hypersensitivity and usually takes at least 48 hours before you break out in a full rash of blisters. Psoriasis is a very different kind of inflammation, also involving lymphocytes, causing a cascade of events that create a rapid division of the cells and a thickening and scaliness of, of the cells. Scaliness and, and itching can occur in atopic dermatitis caused by a variety of factors, including inflammation from within. There are blistering diseases that have very specific targets in the skin, such that there appears to be an attack at the attachment points between the cells in the upper level of the skin, in the epidermis, that get broken, and those broken attachments lead to the formation of blisters in the skin, and sometimes also in the mucous membranes of the digestive tract such as in the mouth and the esophagus. So there are many different kinds of mechanisms that can lead to many different kinds of inflammatory disorders of the skin. And it's important to figure out what is going on and how to calm it down and what are the causal factors so that you can keep the disorder from coming back rather than simply poisoning it to stop the reaction. Now that stopping the reaction may be vital for comfort or even for saving life. But we always hope to try to find the safest method for getting a skin condition under control and the best method and safest method to do it for the long run. So identify with the help of an expert the inflammation that's going on and get their help in getting rid of the causes, whether they're direct stimuli or cross-reactive stimuli that are causing the attack on your skin.